I'm Howard Trackman. I'm the uh, director of the Division of Pediatric Nephrology at NYU Langone Health. Thanks for the opportunity to talk about the uh, publication of the DUET trial. It, I think it's important in a number of ways. First off, it's uh, we in nephrology have not been so great at conducting and completing clinical trials, and I think this is sort of a, a good example of actually getting the job done right. It's, it, secondly, it's focusing on a disease, FSGS, which has been notoriously understudied because it's such a difficult disease with a um, poor response to most treatment interventions in the past. So the fact that this was a study dedicated to these children and adults with this disease, I think, is also an important accomplishment. Thirdly, it's important because it was actually successful. We've been inundated with failed trials, and this was terrific because it actually did demonstrate over the eight-week double-blind period that the reduction in pronuria was significantly greater with the um, test agent, the sparsentin, compared to the standard of care herbicidin and the uh, angiotensin receptor blo blocker that's in current, widely used. The fourth feature that I think was important was that the, the study incorporated a novel means of assessing the proteinuric benefit based on this fantastic and meaningful collaboration between Retrofin and Neptune. We were able to define this better definition of a partial response, which I think will have long legs beyond the completion of this trial. And we were able to document that the sparsentin um, achieved this to, at a greater rate than the standard treatment with herbicidin. Finally, the drug was, rel was quite safe. It was a, it, the uniqueness is that the sparsentin incorporates an endothelin antagonist with much greater specificity for the type A receptor, and therefore the disabling side effects, the anemia, worsening of heart failure, weren't nearly, were really no problem in this study, and this holds great promise for its future use. So again, I think it's an important trial. This was acknowledged by its inclusion in the program with uh, top stories published in JSON that was featured yesterday. And I think we hopefully will be able to confirm this in the phase three duplex trial, which is up and running both in children and adults. I think the key take home message is that this may very well turn out to be a drug that will replace are the angiotensin receptor blockers alone because in a single pill you will have two um, complementary and um, actions that will be synergistic to reduce proteinuria with hopefully the same safety profile that nephrologists have encountered when they when they use angiotensin receptor blockers to treat proteinuric patients. Now, I've worked with Retrofin, I've been involved in the design of the study, but I've been an unpaid consultant throughout this entire time.